Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's it going? I'm fine. <laughs> I am good. Great. Awesome. Remember, how's it going? Great. Awesome. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Hey, happy Father's Day. Roger. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Mm. You too. Are no. you father? Roger. No, no father? No, no, no teacher. <laughs> okay. No. Happy Father's no. Day to you. <laughs> <laughs> not that you know, not that you know, you are not a father. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you know. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Are you a father? No, teacher. Not no no father. Okay, Alexander. Are you a father? Yeah, I'm father. Okay. <clears throat> Happy Father's Day. Okay. Thank. You say same to you. Same to you. If that's the case, right? The see same to you. Si ese es el caso. Okay. Great. Great job. Marco. Oh, Marco. Marco, hello, Marco. No. Okay. Well, happy Father's Day to everyone. We all have a father or had a father. To us, we must have a father. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Jacqueline, hello. Good evening. Hello. Okay, so today, we're going to start with the review. We're going to review your, your midterm exam. One second. Okay. So we are going to check your midterm exam really quick. Okay, really quick. Let's do it. The first part was a listening part. Okay. And you have to use there are, there is, okay? That's as simple as that. So let's listen to the first conversation. Pay attention. Ayer no hicimos esto, ¿verdad, uh, Jacqueline? No, teacher. No. Okay, listen, please. Pay attention. Creo que no se reproduce así, teacher. Tiene que abrirlo en la pestañita de la esquina. One. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream. One. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house. But I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. Okay, let's go with the first one. Jacqueline Orantes de Rincon. Que manden. Okay. okay. <laughs> Number one, there are kitchen. Yes. Roger? Three bedrooms. Three bedrooms, yes. Yes. Oh, excuse me. Number one. Roger? Roger? Number number two. <laughs> Okay, Roger, great, thank you. What's yeah. the other? Kitchen. Mm -hmm. Wait, Roger. No, uh, kitchen. Kitchen, yes. Uh, there are some chairs in the, mm, wait. 
Do we all agree? Edwin? There are some chairs in the living room. In the living room. Excellent. Living room. Very good. Living room. Excellent. And last one. Volunteer. Volunteer. Godofredo. Micro oven. Julia needs a micro oven micro. for the kitchen. Excellent. Julia needs a micro way open. Yes, micro way open. It's very good. Great job, guys. Let's move on. Let's go to the next one. So here, instructions. Use a simple print of the verbs. Select the option that contains the words to complete the question. Complete the question and answer. Oh, hey. Don't. No, I don't. Okay, so <laughs> we have, do your apartment building have an elevator? That's your. X. Why, Godofredo? Por qué? Uh, your, lo que me explicó la vez pasada, estamos hablando de tercera persona, apartment. Excellent. ¿Estoy hablando de ti o estoy hablando del apartamento? De la, uh, del, del apartamento. De del apartamento de Excellent. One applause, please. Great job. Does your apartment building have an elevator? Great job, Godofredo. Okay, yes? You can do it. Das. Yes, I do. <clears throat> Wait, yes? I do. I do. Do's. Do it. <laughs> Perdón. That's that. it. Does. That does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Very good. Second conversation. Larissa. Do have, teacher. Do have. Do the best. Yes. Have closets. Perfect, Larissa. Very good. Do the bedrooms. ¿Por qué? Porque está en plural. The bedrooms. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Uh, no, they... Don't. 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 Yeah, they no, they don't. Simple. Okay, let's see. Yeah, very good. Okay. Next. So, you have to unscramble the sentences on the right um, order, on the correct order. So, the there, <laughs> the there isn't a mirror in bedroom. Okay, help. That is? There is? A mirror in the, in the window, in the, ben, the bedroom. The bedroom. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so there isn't a mirror in the bedroom. Number two, no pictures. The hole there are in. There are. Excellent, Jacqueline. There. There are no picture in the hall. No picture in the hall. In the hall. Okay. Next. There are. Are any mm -hmm. the dining room? The no, the curtains in the dining room. The curtains. Okay, there aren't any curtains. 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 In, in the dining room. Any room. Excellent. Very good, guys. There are curtains on the dining room. Okay, in the dining room. Simple. Cher, yeah. a mí siempre me toma mal la que le dije. Siempre. ¿Cuál? La de... There is an... La primera, ¿se acuerda que le dije? Sí. Y, lo volví a arreglar, lo puse todo en mayúsculas y siempre me lo toman mal. Veamos, mira. Estas son las posibles opciones. Quiero que entiendan que de esta manera funciona la plataforma. Se le da una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete diferentes opciones de respuesta o más, incluso a veces. Tú puedes escribir, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom, period, lleva un punto al final. 
Or, puedes escribir, there isn't a mirror in the bedroom, sin punto. Ok. Todo en mayúsculas, con un punto al final. Todo en mayúsculas, sin punto al final. Todo en minúsculas, con punto al final. O todo en minúsculas, sin punto al final. So, yeah. Ya intenté y no lo agarra. No sé yeah. por qué. It's so weird. Qué raro está eso. Yes. Este, yo también tengo un caso en la plataforma cuando estaban los de profesiones, de chef y algunos de singer, creo que era. Oh. Habían tres que no me los aceptó el sistema. Yo los escribí bien uh -huh. y, y no me los aceptaba. Estuve casi bastante tiempo, los ponía mayúsculas y minúsculas. Cuando estaba, eh, que decíamos que él era cantante o, o él era cocinero. Estaba diciendo, he isn't a singer. Ajá, eso lo utilicé, eh, así como nos enseñó, y, y, pero no me lo aceptó. Solo eran tres los que no me aceptaba eh, Y yo me aburrí, así lo dejé. Ok, recomendación. Abran un, un um, Wordpad, un, perdón, un documento de Word y escriban ahí la respuesta. Lo que está ocurriendo probablemente es que el apóstrofe en su teclado se está poniendo como una coma superior. Este tipo que está acá, este pequeño apóstrofe, ¿ok? A la breve, en el teclado les puede estar poniendo una coma elevada, no sé. ¿Ok? Hay que revisar eso. Si no, escríbanme y yo me, me contacto con alguien de soporte técnico, ¿ok? Let's... Ok. Let's... So let's see, uh, then we have select the correct word for each sentence. Let's go, Alfredo. Number one. A nurse work in a hospital. Repeat, a nurse. A, a nurse. A nurse. <laughs> sorry. That's okay. No, nunca digas sorry. A nurse works in a hospital. A nurse works in a hospital. Alfredo? Okay, teacher. <laughs> Repeat, a nurse works in a hospital. A nurse work in hospital. Casi. Works in a hospital. Works in a hospital. hospital. Very good. Hospital. Nurse works in a hospital. Excellent. Number two, Jacqueline. Um, um, a salesperson. Oh, cook, receptionist, or singer? Sorry, leí que decía salesperson. I know, you're going here, maybe. Okay, let's see. Edwin, a receptionist. Uh, uh, a receptionist. Okay, Edwin. A receptionist. 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 Uh, a receptionist. Tox. Edwin? Tox. Okay. Two people at a hotel. Uh, a receptionist. Two people at a hotel. At a hotel. At a hotel. Uh, at a hotel. Very good. So, a uh, receptionist okay. talks to people at a hotel. Good guys. At a hotel. At a, very good. And the last one. Roger. You there? Uh, judge sits all day. Okay. A judge sits all day, right? A judge sits all day. Judge. judge? Ah, that's it. simple. Great job. Next, let's go with the next one. Uh, number one is where you work. I work at a restaurant. Perfect, Roger. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant. Or where do you where do you work? I work at a restaurant. I work at a I work at a I work at a restaurant. Great job. Okay, no. Cool. Number two. Somebody? Someone else? Uh, what, what does he do? <laughs> what does he do? 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 
Remember, linking, linking. What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? He's firefighter. 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 Eso ahorita exagera, eh. Firefighter. Okay, and the last one, Alexander Moran. Okay, teacher, tell me. <laughs> What's that? Um, hey, enjoy, enjoy your meal. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, it's, um, what does he do for us? I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. How do they like the jobs? Yes. Ah, yeah, okay, okay. How do they? Uh, how do they like the jobs? Yeah. Yeah. How, how, how do they like the jobs? Their jobs, okay. Hey, everybody. How do, how do they, 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 okay. how do they, 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 Listen, how do they like their jobs? How do, they how, like do they like how do they like their jobs? How do they like their jobs? Great job. Roger, good pronunciation. Easy, guys. And I think we're just missing one. In this one, you have to select easy. So a receptionist has a relaxing job. I agree. And I think a receptionist job is safe. Let's see. A singer. Um, exciting. That's an exciting job. Exciting. Yeah. That's exciting. an exciting job. Be careful with the article. Excellent. Okay. I disagree. I disagree. I think a singer's job is it's boring. 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 Second conversation. A flight attendant. Has, uh, has a stressful, 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 stressful. 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 Very good job. My attendant has a stressful job. Excellent. Job. Oh, I agree. I agree. It. I agree. It, it is, is stressful. stressful. It is stressful. Mm. It is stressful. It is. It is stressful. Pay attention. A flight attendant has a stressful job. Está afirmando que sí tiene un trabajo estresante. Estoy de acuerdo, ¿eh? Vamos a detenernos un segundo. I agree, yo estoy de acuerdo. I disagree, no estoy de acuerdo. Ok. I agree. Ok. I, ok. Uh, yeah. It is stressful. A cashier's job. It's not easy. It's not easy. No, it's a cashier job is not easy. It's easy. It's not. It's Listen. Not. It's not. It's not easy. 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 Teacher, teacher, una consulta. Ok, uh, esta T entonces no, no es muy golpeada cuando se pronuncia. ¿Por qué? ¿Alguien que... ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Ajá, ajá, que alguien me diga por qué. Estamos poniendo atención toda la clase. ¿Por qué no, no es fuerte esa T? ¿Por qué hay un link? ¿Por qué hay una unión de la pronunciación como lo hemos estado viendo? Es narisi. Narisi. Ya, yeah, ok. Why? Porque es una vocal. Ah, la tres. La dos. Ah, ok. okay. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, ok. Ah, the T is between two vowels. Simple as that. Yeah, ok. It's not easy. Very good. Great job. Good question. Thank you, Tisha. And last one. I disagree. A cashier. Has a difficult, a difficult job. Has, I disagree. Has a cashier has a difficult job. Has a difficult job. Okay. Perfect, guys. That's it. Oh. Okay.
It is not easy. Yeah, it's easy. Okay. So, okay. very good. Great job. So, it has a difficult job. Cashier's job is easy. I disagree. A cashier job, a cashier has a difficult job. Okay, good job. And I think that's it. Okay, guys, let's go with the next topic, which will be the unit four. Okay, Roger. Yes. You're particip participative today, so let's see. Oh, sorry. Okay. Me. Okay. Make it bigger. Okay, Roger. One, uh, three, action. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. To the food. Okay, very good. Close. Repeat, Roger. Related. 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 Very later. Okay, to the food pyramid. The food pyramid. The food pyramid. So you will also learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. What you like and what you dislike. What you like and dislike. Yeah. Okay. So word power foods. Word power foods okay let's pay attention okay i'm going to play the video please pay attention hi everyone in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar, cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef. Dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, Tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, 
family and co-workers and think about their likes and dislikes um, for example my sister likes milk uh, yogurt uh, but she doesn't like cheese now is your turn to practice I said okay <laughs> so this is very very simple okay you can say I like coffee but I don't like milk and I want to be very emphatic there I want to emphasize a lot on this pay attention you can say what I did I like coffee but I don't listen I don't like milk okay. but you can also say I don't like it with milk so I like coffee but I don't like it with milk ¿Se están viendo lo que es? pecado teacher why Que no le guste con leche. Sorry. I'm lactose intolerant. Intolerant. I'm sorry. I'm lactose intolerant, Larissa. <laughs> you got it? You got it? Okay. Yeah, this is your this is your job right now to say. Okay, I like beans. One more thing, you can say, I love pupusas. Okay? But, um, but my mom doesn't. Simple as that. Oigan, tan simple como eso. I like, I love pupusas, but my mom doesn't. Pero mi mamá no. Oye, pero mi mamá no. More examples? Another example? Larissa? Mande! <laughs> Give me another example. Um, I like uh, beef. Mm -hmm. But I don't like carrots. Carrots. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Okay, you can also be more extensive, right? Like I like I like beans, uh, rice, eggs. Um, what else? Carrots and bananas. Okay, but I don't like bread. Okay, for example. Questions. Questions. This this should be very simple uh, vocabulary, guys. Esto debería ser vocabulario muy sencillo uh, a este punto. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? No, no, teacher. No? no. Ok. Bien, lo voy a hacer en grupo súper rápido, solo cinco minutos para que practiquemos esta estructura. Al hablar, ahorita estoy buscando uh, una pirámide. La tenía por acá, pero... Okay. How do you say uh, plátano English? How do you say plátano English? Anybody? Hello? Teacher, how do you say moras? Moras, berries. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Strawberry fields forever. Pero moras, moras de. Moras. Berries. 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 Okay. Y berenjenas, teacher, ¿cómo se dice? Very, oh, good question. Berenjena. How do you say berenjena in English? You say. Eggplant, eggplant, así como plant. Eggplant. 
Eggplant. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Eggplants is como planta de huevo, no? Eggplants. Okay. How do you say repollo in English? Red chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you say, ah, oh, I, I always forget that word. Hold on. It starts with a G. Hold on. Hey, you say, no, it's cabbage. 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 C A B B A G E. Cabbage. Cabbage. Cabbage, pero con dos B. Okay, cabbage. <laughs> cabbage. Got me there. <laughs> me me atrapó. Creo que la risa fue, ¿no? Okay, good guys. Los voy a dividir en grupitos ahorita para que practiquemos eso bien sencillo. What you like and what you don't like. Okay, your likes and dislikes. Just five minutes and we come back, okay? Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, please take the invitation. Hey, Jacqueline, Charles. Charles, no te cayó la invitación? Okay, there you go. Jacqueline? <coughs> Jacqueline, ya tiene la invitación? Sí, teacher. Bueno, vamos. <laughs> Broccoli? Broccoli? Okay. Sí, I love it. You love broccoli? Ay, me encanta. Bro <laughs> broccoli cream? No. Crema de broccoli? No, me gusta solo así con limón. Okay, just with lemon and salt. Ah. Uh, just. Uh, bananas. Bananas. Strawberry. Uh, 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 um, I don't like. Uh huh. Mm, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Nuts. Nuts, nuts. You don't like nuts? No. Um, quiero ver. Eggplant. Uh. Eggplant, really? Eggplant. What about? Odio. Okay. What about with beans sauce? Beans sauce, con salsa de frijol chino. Chinese bean sauce. Mm, nada, no me gusta para nada. Okay, that's delicious. Uh -huh. Ahora usted, Hugo. Okay. Diga lo que le gusta. <laughs> um, I, I like uh, the jagger. Jagger? I like and I like ice cream. I don't like um, bana ¿cómo se bananas or pero eh, plantain. Bananas. No, en en con sorbete. Oh, with ice cream. Ice cream I, I like, but banana with ice cream. You mean banana split? Banana split. <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> uh, I like the, the milk and cheese. And I don't like. The... Try to make it small. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. Mm -hmm. Eggplant or egg, eggplants. Eggplants, okay. Eggplant. Um, that's all. That's all. Okay. Good job, guys. Okay, keep practicing. I'll be back with the other group, okay? Okay. Keep going. Okay. Hello. Hello, Hi, teacher. teacher. Hmm. Question, teacher. 
Yes. yes. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice ajo en inglés? How do you say ajo in English and yogurt? Okay. Yogurt or yogurt? Yogurt. 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 Yeah, you say yogurt. Yogurt. No, yogurt. 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 Hmm? Okay. And Gar ajo? Garlic. It's true. Garlic, sí. It's true. Ya me acuerdo. Garlic. Dragon Ball. Ya me acuerdo. ¿Por qué Dragon Ball? Why Dragon Ball? Uh... Eh, es que hay un enemigo que se llama Garlic Jr. Oh, ok. No me acuerdo de ese episodio. Bueno, yo soy fan de, de Dragon Ball también. Ya oh. vamos dos. <laughs> Good job. Ok, guys. So, what do you have? Potato, candy, butter, oil. Yeah. I like lettuce with lemon, carrot with lemon. All with lemon. <laughs> Everything. Everything with lemon. Really? Mm, vegetables. Oh, me too. What about rice? Rice with lemon? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good. What about you, Alfredo? What do you like and you don't like? Uh, I, don't, I don't like onion. On Repeat. I don't like onions. I don't like onions. I don't, I don't, what's I don't, I don't like onions. I don't like onions. Perfect. Very good. Okay, guys, let me go to another group. Keep practicing. Keep practicing, okay? What about okay, okay. cereal? Cereal, for example. Okay, keep going. Onion. Bananas. Bananas. Peter, hey, I need your help. Yeah, uh, me. Uh, I, I like the the eggs, uh, beans, um, the coffee, but mm, no sé cómo decir plátano. Lo dijo, pero no no, no lo recuerdo. Uh, acá es muy similar, ¿no? Platain. 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 Okay. I don't like platain. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I like the beans. Um, eggs, coffee, but don't like but the same. I, but I don't like, but I don't like. I don't like, yeah, okay, okay. I don't like platin. Very good. Yeah. Edwin? Okay. And the like the meal with cereal uh, in the breakfast. Great. Okay. I like, repeat Edwin, I like. I like. Milk with cereal. With? Milk. Oh, milk with cereal uh, uh, very fast. At breakfast, perfect. I like okay. milk with cereal at breakfast, perfect. Okay. okay, let's go back for meeting. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, so let's come back. Man, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry too. I'm hungry three. <laughs> I'm hungry times three, times three. Good one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Listen, I'm hungry. I'm starving. I'm starving. Okay, I'm starving. I oh my God, I'm starving. Um, I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay, me estoy muriendo. Okay, I'm dying. Cuando tenés mucha hambre, I'm dying. I'm starving. Okay, estoy. Um, I'm starving. Estoy. Uh, Hambriento, no. Muy hambriento, extremadamente hambriento. So, starving, starving, eh, de hecho la, la Organización Mundial para la Salud lo ocupa mucho en África, lamentablemente. Starving, um, muriendo de hambre, es lo mismo, muriendo de hambre, ok. Liter, pero literal, I'm starving. I'm starving, yeah. porque no, yo sé, de, de decir, has estado en ayuno durante dos días, no has comido nada, I'm starving. Ok. I'm starving. And I'm hungry, ok. Good. Okay. Uh, so good. 
Hmm. I was telling you, I don't, you can say, I don't, okay? So you can say, I don't like strawberries, but I love apples. Uh, I don't like your food, but I love your mother's food. I don't like your food, but I love your mother's food. No me gusta tu comida, pero me gusta la de tu mamá. Okay. Questions. 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 No questions? It was a very simple topic. I said, fun topic, muy sencillo. Okay, let's continue so we can move on with topics on our platform, guys. There's a lot to see. Okay. So, the, the next objective on, on Unit 4. Teacher, teacher. Tell me, yeah. Uh, una consulta. Esa uh, foto de lo que es el triángulo, ¿podría enviarla al...? Sí, lo haré. Nomás terminamos la clase. El externo, fíjate que no la... Okay. Ya no la encontré y la tenía lista para enviarlo. Ah, no. Ok, thank you. I'll right now. Ok, so by the end of this class, you will learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use the expression some and any. Esto es muy relacionado a, al tema que estábamos viendo, ¿no? Contables, incontables. Cómo usar some, cómo usar any. Prácticamente ya lo vimos, pero vamos a reforzarlo porque es muy utilizado, ¿ok? Good, so please pay attention. Please pay attention, ¿ok? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns. and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? 
When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. Unmute our teacher. Yeah, I know. Es que no me parecen los controles. Okay, guys. Questions. Questions. Do we need some eggs? Do we need any eggs? What is the difference between this? Do we need any eggs or do we need some eggs? Algunos y ninguno. Hmm. Do we need any eggs? Necesitamos algunos. Algún, any eggs? Some eggs? Sí. Exacto, Jacqueline. Esa sería la diferencia. Algunos o ningunos huevos. Necesitamos ningunos huevos. Suena raro, ¿no? Pero en sí es lo mismo. Estás diciendo lo mismo. Al preguntar no debería de importar la cantidad. Debería preguntar, how many eggs do we need? ¿Cuántos huevos necesitamos? ¿Ok? okay. Sí. Questions. ¿Por qué la limonada es incontable? Mm, ¿Por qué no se...? ¿Hola? ¿Ignora? No. ¿Ya con Ajá. Es un líquido. Sí, no, no se puede. Necesitas un vaso, ¿verdad? A glass. Ok, a glass of lemonade. A cup of lemonade. Ok, good. So, let's continue. ¿Alguien tiene alguna duda con respecto a ese tema de contables e incontables? Hello. No questions. Uh, quizás solo con lo que decía del 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 any y el som que venía siendo como que lo mismo al final, ¿no? O no sé si me equivoco. Sí. Eh, perdón. Reformula tu pregunta, Roger. Oh, eh, es que me confundí la verdad en esa parte. Ok. Decía José que sí se puede ocupar en preguntas el som. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y el any también. There are some potatoes. Are there some potatoes? Um, do we need some potatoes? Do we need any potatoes? Se puede ocupar any some en preguntas. Sin embargo, no puedes responder con any. Uh, okay. En positivo no puedes responder con any. Sí, porque any solo es para negativas y preguntas, les decía en cierta ocasión. Some... Sí, es para, para positivas. Ok. Oh, ok, thanks, teacher. Ok, ok. So, let's see. Do you have a knowledge check here? Complete the conversation with some and any. Esto es muy similar a lo que hicimos anteriormente. Bien sencillo, chicos. So, let's go one by one. Para cerrar esta clase, vamos a ir uno por uno. Let's see. Royer. Man of the hour. Ok. Let me see. It's a conversation, remember, Amanda. Uh, Amanda. The store yes, doesn't have any potato salad. Uh -huh, Roger? Um, Amanda, well, we have lots of, of potato. Let's make any. Mm -hmm. Let's make any? Mm -hmm. uh, no. <laughs> um, Let's make some. Some. Let's um. Yeah, let's make some. Okay. Hey, 
the potato. Store, the store doesn't have any potato salad. No tiene nada de ensalada de patata, de papas. Okay, well, we have lots of potatoes. Tenemos muchas patatas. Let's make some. Vamos a hacer algo. Vamos a hacer un poco de lo anterior. Potato salad. Next, Edwin. Okay, do we have... It's... Any? Any mayonnaise? Yeah. Have any mayonnaise? Mayonnaise? Oh. A un americano le van a escuchar decir más que todo, mayo, mayo, mayo. Mayo. Do we have any mayo? Mayo. 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 Mayo, right? Mayo. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> right, right. Mayo. Total? Okay. Mayo. Do we have any mayo? Yeah. Okay. No, we need to buy, Alexander. Buy some. Some. No, yeah. to buy some. Repeat. No, we need to buy some. No, no, we, no we, we need to buy some. We need some. to buy some. Yeah. Okay. We need... Jacqueline? We need some onions too. Yeah, we need some onions too. Yeah. Onions. onions. Yeah, onions. Very good. No, we need some onions too. Yeah. Okay. Mm, next, Hugo. Where's Hugo? Oh, I don't want any any onions. Oh, I don't want 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 any onions. I don't want any onions. Oh, I don't want any onions. I don't want any onions. Oh, I don't want any onions. Okay. I hate onions. Next, Amanda. Then let's get some or any. Alfredo? That let's get some celery. Celery. Hey, what's celery? What is celery, Larissa? Celery. Celery. In my no, say teacher. You don't know? Celery. No. No. Come on, woman. Women. Where are the women? What is celery? Mm -hmm. What is celery? Apple. 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 No es apio, teacher. Apio, ¿verdad? Sí, ok. Bueno, tengo entendido, no sé. Apio, apio es... ¿Verdad? Apio es, ok. Yes. Good. So, I don't want... It's a negative, so any or some? Any. 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 Celery and potato salad. Ok. And the last one, but let's put... Some. Some. Apple. Some. No. Oh. Um, Put some apple. apple. In, in, apples in, in potatoes? That sounds awful. 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 So you can say ugly. You can say ugly like me. I'm ugly. I am ugly. Pero una situación, no, una, una situación es fea. Cuando una situación es fea, this is awful. 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 Okay. Awful. Awful. O-F-O-L. Awful. Awful. Okay. Okay. O-F-O-L. Awful. Okay. Perfect. Good, guys. Great job. Okay. Bien, nos vemos mañana para que terminemos la unidad 4 y comencemos introducirnos en la unidad 5 ya la próxima semana terminamos este módulo, ok? ok, 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 